another day another apple event <laughs> guys let's get right into it so yes guys apple had a new event today they unleashed some of the macbook line and of course the macbook with the mac chip the m1 here is pretty much everything we learned today guys just a recap so first off the m1 does have eight core cpu for high performance for high efficiency up to eight core gpu 16 billion transistors app secure in caved system built in and thunderbolt usb 4.0 support so kind of cool also io is oh, ios app on mac of course you can actually now get them on mac kind of cool kind of awesome but i guess right now guys the biggest thing to talk about is this chip now this is again like we saw with the consoles with the xbox a next generation elite when it comes to their processing units and i'm really excited about this i think this is going to add a lot more to the macbooks i think overall like we saw a big leap with the new iphones and their you know their chip and now we're seeing the same thing with apple with the macbooks so that's awesome i'll definitely say we're seeing a lot of amazing technology so starting off right away we have a new macbook air this macbook air will start at 999 and of course it is the first macbook air with a m1 powered mac announced with a new fanless macbook air Woo! what what fanless macbook air apple says the new macbook air is up to 3.5 faster times faster than the previous generation thanks to the absence of any fans fully run silent guys i knew eventually we would get to this point but we wouldn't put fans in, um, you know, devices. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know how I feel about it because I feel like even though, yeah, the fans are annoying, they're very important. You guys ever run a PC without fans? No, you didn't because you know what would happen? Your thing would overheat. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. It pumps up the 15 hour battery life while browsing the web or 18 hours while watching videos. If you, it, it's got a 13.3 Display SSD up to two terabyte touch ID Thunderbolt as a lot of people actually got upset about thing they did not have uh touch ID and like the touch bar a lot of people got mad about that anyway though we also got a new Mac mini the new Mac mini also overhauls for the M1 chip its base price is dropping hundred dollars to six ninety nine it was put up to two terabyte SSD and up to sixteen gigabytes of memory port wise it's USB A port to uh, USB C ports, and of course, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack with HDMI 2.0, not 2.1, and gigabyte internet. Awesome. Not bad. Definitely excited about that. And it dropped $100. That's a W by uh, Apple. New MacBook Pro, next generation MacBook Pro says the M1 chip bumps the MacBook Pro's battery up to 17 hours while. Rags on the web, 20 hours of video playback. Like the Air, it's 13.3 inch display and supports SSDs up to 2 terabytes and 16 gigabytes of memory. It got Touch ID, Wi-Fi 6 support, 4 Thunderbolt, USB 4, and perhaps, the disappointment of some, a touch bar. Uh, it will start at $12.99 or for $11.99 for educational users. Interesting. So, yes, it does have a touch bar. I don't know why I said this to some, perhaps to disappointment of some. I, I basically, when I heard on Twitter, everyone was so happy about the fact that had a touch bar, okay? Apparently, people were happy about that. I don't know. Do you guys care about the touch bar? I don't really care about it, but, you know, whatever. Big Skr coming soon. Next major update to Mac OS is version 11. Otherwise known as Big Skr was announced back in June. And Apple now says it will ship on Thursday, November 12th. Interesting. So that's pretty much it, guys. New MacBook Air, new MacBook Pro, new Mac Mini. Interesting. Let me know below your thoughts and opinions. Do you love it? Do you hate it? I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.